work from home brings in a totally different environment the work the office environment which was secure from the digital point of view extends to your home not that every home has a vpn you don't have a virtual private network everywhere and when we started with this pandemic people were using their their gadgets whichever way they felt like but our big companies were provided the infrastructure and they're moving in that direction with every single passing day that they have and that now that they have decided that most of their work will happen in 2021 on the home front mode they're providing that infrastructure but not every company has the capability to do that and even with that capability whether it will be able to withstand apt 29 and lots of other attacks that itself is questionable so we are basically sitting on a virtual landmine it is a virtual digital landmine or a virtual landmine so that is where we are the threat vectors have increased exponentially the connectivity provided to you and there are lots of times where the where where your own staff does not get the right sort of a connectivity at his house so what does it do he goes to a public wi-fi and once you go to a public wi-fi say what is the level of your capability god only knows public wi-fi can be compromised at the earliest and in the process you and your company all of them are compromised suffice to say you have to treat all these factors as a part of your risk which is now ensuing risk assessment in the post pandemic or in the pandemic days i think there's one exercise which need to happen documented and it's on that basis that you decide your strategy if you don't know the risk itself there's absolutely no reason or there is absolutely no way or absolutely no strategy by which you can mitigate the risk we have lots of workforce which is being retrenched and you know that a cyber criminal a hacker or a person who is capable of conducting a breach are the people who are experts in this game and these people who are moving out of companies they are certainly carrying a grudge they are nursing a grudge that injustice has been done to them and also that they will not be finding a job and that being the case i think if they fall into wrong hands they might leak secrets or they might become cyber criminals themselves so we have a whole load of floating unemployed cyber enabled people who are there in this world pandemic is a totally different scenario the business continuity which has to happen in a pandemic is very different to what you would have imagined as a part of the business continuity plan suffice to say that there is hardly or there was hardly any business continuity plan where pandemic was a part or it was incorporated as a part of the plan unfortunately pandemic came came our way and we are left with no choice no choice but to create a business continuity plan where pandemic is incorporated so now in the future business continuity plans pandemic has to be incorporated this is not the first not the last time that we are facing pandemic so the whole digital scenario has changed from the utilities from the tools from the hacking groups from the lazarus to apt29 to ransomware the quality of the the encryption used the capability of these people and the capability of lack of attribution i think all of these things have messed up the whole scenario and now that we are not left with much choice but to work in a very dispersed digital environment in which we are in we have to find our way how we handle cyber security its importance has greatly increased our functioning our very existence is based on cyber the capability and robustness of cyber security the enterprises health their business their capability to deliver everything actually hinges on the capability of cyber security any hack bring down their capability to deliver bring down the trust and the loyalty to that particular brand and most of these big companies today they have enhanced their cyber security to a level that there are as little of breaches and if it so happens they are capable to plug those breaches i'll give you two more instances before i wind up one is WannaCry, which happened in uh, 2017 and WannaCry was a ransomware 
uh, it came out of uh, NSA by shadow brokers and it was on a Windows uh, system. The patch was provided, I think, on March that year. There was no patch management happened in most parts of the world and the attack happened somewhere in June, in early June. So that particular point, point in time, I think the National Health Service in the in the UK, so that was also attacked and lots of other organizations across the globe. In India, most of the banking sector which claimed that they were not attacked, they stopped digital operations for around seven to eight days. So our capability to bounce back is also a challenge. Resilience is something which we are not working upon. And lo and behold, after two years, when we presume that the whole patch management has happened, not only in India, but in a place like US, where we presume that the patch management would have happened, there's a city of Baltimore, so which was hit by a ransomware. It was a major ransomware attack. And the whole government out there came to a standstill. And at that particular point in time, it was revealed that nearly 1 million computers in the US, they were in the wild, which means that patch management for WannaCry had not happened. So this is the history of security. This is the history of cyber security. How casually we take. There has been ransomware attacks on, I think, nearly 22 municipalities. I think around half of it has happened only in Texas area. And a large number of schools, public utilities, you name it, have it. And they have not been able to strike back or as the criminal. There are lots of time because of the cyber incidents which is going all around the world. So that money is being paid by the cyber incident part, but there is no way to solve the problem. Government agencies or municipalities or private companies, which are mostly public limited companies, I don't think that is the right approach. And if we go in that direction, things will become back worse. Russian hacking. So Russians, they had the democratic the elections of US president in 2016. From there, we have the threats of, of uh, GRU in Russia. From there, we have the Brexit, we have Facebook, we have uh, Cambridge Analytica, ocean model of uh, psychology, how you influence voters, how they were able to get the, the democratic uh, service, what has happened, how it has happened, how much it is delivering, how much is not delivering, what has been the impact, that is the difference to you all together. Suffice to say, these very critical servers, this very critical data, it can be compromised. 5G has been a battle. Huawei has been a battle between US and China. Technologies will be a battle. Enterprises will be a battle. Products will be a battle between India and China. We have seen from those 59 have been banned to another 47, 48 grown one, and another 118 recently. So this battle of technology has reached nearly every theater of human existence, whether it is economy, whether it's quality, growth, development, social interaction, sentiment, emotions, literally anything and everything. It has spread all across. There's absolutely no difference between cyber and physical. Both have got in it. It is one single life. I hope and I presume that I've been able to give you a fair overview, a bird's eye view as to where cyber security stands today, where we are placed, what is our capability, how we move forward, and if we don't, what is basically looming large on us is complete insecurity. We will just not know what has hit us. We still don't know where our data is finally going to, what is being compromised and what is not being compromised. It is an extremely sad state of affairs. And you people who are the practitioners who are trying to bring cyber security on a very robust footing, I wish you all the best of luck. On you hinges our economic development and our capability to have a very stable, robust, and peaceful professional and personal existence.